Okay, I'd like to give you some clues uh, as to some kind of techniques that we can use for when we're when we're rendering um, features. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the eyes. Notice that now we've been through a tremendous amount of information before we're before we're moving on to um, before we're finally. It's like we're finally now just getting to the eyes and. So many times you see a student drawing, and it starts with the eyes and kind of finishes with the eyes, and the eyes are, you know, the alpha and the omega of the portrait. They're the beginning and the end, okay? So I'm just going to take and jot down a basic head shape, okay? This is my, this is the process that I'm practicing, um, and it's not my process. It's a long-term established process. Uh, probably, you know, starting in the Renaissance and all over the world. And so I've got a kind of circle shape. Notice I've got a kind of square shape for the um, jaw. I'm just going to start to look for the corners on the top of the brow. Okay, there's my corners. This is going to be the top of the head. I'm tilting the head kind of in that direction. I'm sort of turning the head in that direction. From there, I can start to establish the line of my jaw. Here's the line of my jaw. This is brow to the bottom of the nose, which will give me the position of the ear. Okay, from here, my nose will emerge from this shape. I want to jot the mass of the nose. I'm going to start to sketch the mass of the nose here. Um, bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, halfway. Continuing to cross the contour for my lines of symmetry. Okay, now I've got the lip, bottom lip, top lip, bottom of the bottom nose. Here's the brow. Back, looking for the plane that the eye is going to exist within. So here's the plane on one side. Here's the plane on the other side. This plane here, this downward facing plane, is the plane that the eyeball will sit in, okay? And so establishing eye details before you've established the plane of the head is really dangerous. From there, cheekbone back to here, and that helps us get this plane right here, which is really important. The ridge, Okay, roughed in. We have a roughed in, sketchy version of a, of a portrait. I want to put the neck on it. Okay, and now inside of here, inside this socket lives, there's this like ping pong ball. And the ping pong ball has mounted on it this like little marble shape right in here, okay? And it's going to look like he's really crazy, got like a crazy focus going on because, uh, because he hasn't got any eyelids at this point, okay? And here's the way that the eyelids work. There's what's called a lacrimal fascia, and it's the tear duct. And the way that I construct the shape of the eye socket, I go like this and corner to corner, right? And then this guy rounds over and leaves this little bit of space right here. And that's where I like to think of the tear duct. And I think it's called vitreous humor. The, the eyeball lives in there. And then here's the iris. And then on the iris, the pupil. Okay. So here's a little dissection of what we're working on. And what happens is here's the ball. And the middle of the eye is lower, and the outside of the eye is higher. And there's a line, and it goes over and up, 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 up. And then it starts passing over, and then it goes down. And then you'll see also here. And this has thickness. This upper eyelid has thickness to it, and it'll be, you'll be losing it as it moves over to the side. But as it moves up this way, you start seeing the side plane of that thickness. Okay, so when you're here, and we're looking down on this head, so we're not going to see the thickness there, but 
from here, there's a cross contour line and it goes in behind the eye and then it comes over and it's going to end up here and it's going to go that way, okay? Here is my iris. Here's the iris that I want to draw here. Okay, so here, directly in a square line across from corner to corner. There's my corner of the eye, okay? And now I'm going to go from there and I'm going to end up corner to corner, making sure that I'm symmetrical in my relationship up over the eye and around. And now I'm not going to see it go down because it disappears behind this. Okay, here's all of that. Here's all of that. Okay, now you see this, that's where this eyelid comes down and over. A lot of times what's happening in here will just be a nice deep shadow. I mean, you can go further into studying the exact form. Here is a piece called the glabella, and you can go further into studying the exact form of the glabella. Um, into, there's some, there's some fun stuff to do with the eye. Um, and here's some of it. One, one of the things that you can do is um, there can be an eyelash over here. It can go like nice and heavy, like it's like this big sheet, okay? And the eyelash will darken like that. And then it can cast a little shadow and it'll be a lighter shadow on the light part of the eye and it'll be a darker shadow onto the darker part of the eye. Okay, and the iris has this line around it. You curl back here. This is another, a lower lid, which connects here, comes over and around and up, over and around and up, it goes over and around and up, and then it comes down this way. And you, a lot of times, will see a little shape on top of it, like a, like a lip on top of it. Classic highlight on an eye usually could be any place in here. And people are really good at drawing eyes. You can like go on, you can go on YouTube and look up how to draw eyes. And um, people have great moves that they do. You know, this stuff, it's on an underlying plane. So a lot of this stuff is naturally just in shadow. There's the eye lash. Here's a fun thing to know. With the eyeball, okay, to shade it so that you see translucency, what happens is, even if the light's coming from up here, this part up here is darker and it goes to lighter. It goes down to lighter. You'll see like this light that lives inside of here. Okay, and that is not the highlight. Here's the highlight. The highlight is on the other side. So there's the highlight. And this would be the shadow right here. And here's the shadow there. Nice dark line. There's the lip underneath the eye right there. Coming down, and that's the crease right here, up, here's the crease here. As you come over very frequently, you'll start to get wrinkles in here. This is like any piece of fabric or anything that doesn't have enough space. Okay, here's eyelashes coming over. You can take and throw shadows of eyelashes onto the skin if you're really interested in that. Um, this can be modeled, but really gently. It's a light color, but it can be modeled towards the light and this will be modeled away from away from the light okay 
I think that's what I'm going to do for eyes right now.